Hey everyone, welcome back for another Pencil Talk, where we talk about the best classroom resources that you just have to have in your classroom. And today it's all about math interventions. Oh, I hated math interventions when I was in the classroom. And when it got to the point where I needed an intervention, it was to the point where I exhausted every possible resource that I already had in hand. Everything that my, my textbook gave me, everything in all the workbooks I had in my classroom, even went next door and talked to, you know, the veteran teacher to see what they had. But sometimes you just need a simple, targeted activity to make sure that you can push your students and get those holes filled and get them to where they need to be in math. So I have created just the thing. I have my... 10 minute reading interventions that are wildly popular with teachers. So I decided to make a math version. So introducing my 10 minute math interventions. So these guys are amazing. And let me tell you what is included in this. So there are over 15 different math skills. I follow the standards to a T. So you're going to cover everything from second, third, up to fourth grade standards. Um, in those 15 skills, there are over 200 pages, both print and digital. These are digital, too, that you can use to help pinpoint and target specific interventions for your students. Now, you're probably thinking, how in the world did she do second, third, and fourth grade? Let me show you. So I have my handy-dandy little iris um, shallow containers here. These are perfect for storing interventions and I do one for each skill. So for this, you would want 15. You can also organize them in a binder. It's really up to you. So inside you are going to find um, these cute little half page worksheet or worksheets, lesson plans, excuse me. So these lesson plans have very basic information on them. It has a quick introduction. Um, it has uh, information about the activity and information about the closing. It's even scripted. So these I have found are perfect for when you have a push in. So maybe you have um, an interventionist coming in. Maybe you have ELL support coming in. Maybe you have SPED support coming in. Maybe you just have a parent volunteer coming in and you want them to work with a student on a specific math skill. You can give them these. Tell them that you need Johnny to do math intervention number five in fractions. So they will grab this. They will flip to number five. They will find the um, corresponding page, activity page, and they go. It's that simple. So again, you're going to find a half page lesson plan for every single activity. Now, also inside here um, are the activity pages. Um, now, you do not have to put them into page protectors. Um, I like to do that because um, I want to just erase and keep that page rather than having to print and reprint interventions over and over again. I like having them all printed, ready to go. That way I can do an intervention in five to 10 minutes, very quick when I can squeeze these in. So every activity is meant to be done in 10 minutes. That's why they're called 10 minute math interventions. Fabulous, right? Because we all can find 10 minutes here or there, five minutes here or there to squeeze in a few interventions. So the activities themselves go from level one up to level 10 plus. So you can see here I have pulled out the fractions. Level one is very basic fractions. So here they're just circling the shapes that show equal parts or do not. They're um, dividing or, um, uh, yeah, dividing, sorry, um, equal parts um, below. And then level two, we're going into writing out the actual fraction and shading in fractions. So you can see how each one kind of levels up. Then we're looking at groups of fractions um, and writing those out. And then on level four here, um, we've got comparing fractions where they'll color them in and then use the greater than, uh, less than, equal to signs. And so if I keep going here, you can see here level nine is converting um, mixed numbers into improper fractions. So now we're getting into, you know, late third grade, if that, into fourth grade standards here. And then every single skill included, all the way from number sense to money to geometry, everything has word problems at the very end. So here you can see different types of fraction word problems um, that are included. So every skill, like I said, has at least 10 pages 
most of them have more um, going from level one all the way up, hitting all the different standards. So you can target a very specific standard in 10 minutes for a student who is in need. So print these off, throw them in page protectors, or you can laminate them if you want, throw them in a container or a binder. I also love to throw in little uh, Dollar Tree erasers and um, dry erase markers. So again, you can just grab this and go and you have everything that you need for math interventions. So like I said, there are 15 different math skills included. All four operations, um, there's area and perimeter, decimals and percents, estimating and rounding. We've got number sense, graphs, geometry, area and perimeter, measurement, money. We even have patterns and time. There's so many different skills. And again, each one of those includes 10 interventions or more. And again, they're all digital too. So if you have any questions about using my math interventions or what's included or how to use them, make sure to drop me a comment below and I'd be happy to help answer any questions you have. If you want to know more, head over to the link in my video description. Just click that show more button down below and the link will take you straight over to the math interventions where you can read all about them and see exactly what's included and um, try them out if you are interested. So go check those out, friends, and I'm so thankful um, that you tuned in, and I hope you enjoy my math interventions just as much as I do. So I'll see you soon. Bye.